light's not on. Okay. Hello, and thank you for joining our celebration of New Britain's recent All-America City Award. My name is Robin Lamott Sparks, and I am the Executive Director of the Coalition for New Britain's Youth. For those of you who may not be familiar with us, the Coalition is a merger of four different collaborations here in New Britain. The Coalition for New Britain's Children, the New Britain Youth Network, the School Readiness Council, and the Wellness Committee of the School Board. We have over 30 member organizations representing over 140 members that are working together to create a successful future for our children from cradle to career. The National Civic League's All-America Award recognized our collaborative work and the successes we are achieving as a community. Our work on reducing chronic absenteeism, eliminating summer learning loss, and improving the health of our youth by giving them a voice convinced the judges that New Britain was indeed one of the top 10 cities at the competition. But this work was not that of any one organization. It was the work of the entire community. And the team that traveled from New Britain was representative of the many of you that do this work every day. Our team members, as you saw coming in, included school district members, Superintendent Nancy Sarah, Joe Vavercheck, and Elaine Riccio, Mallory Dupree and Deja Green from the YWCA House of Teens, City Council members Jarrell Hargraves and Christian Rosado, Chamber President Tim Stewart, <coughs> Kayla Smith of the Community Foundation of Greater New Britain, and school board member Merrill Gay, who could not be here tonight. In addition, a special thanks goes to Michael Halloran and Sydney Sparks for helping us out with photography and working the New Britain community table while we were in Denver. We also could not have taken this trip without the financial support of the Community Foundation and Jim Williamson, and the donations from the... <laughs> and the donations from businesses and organizations in New Britain. Thank you all for supporting our trip to Denver. The event in Denver was very nerve wracking for all of us and the preparation we put into our presentation was a definite team effort. We learned a lot from the other 19 communities who were also finalists. Watching a gospel choir from Charleston, a theater troupe from Wisconsin, a young violin player from South Carolina, and an incredible, incredible teenage singer from Las Vegas was a part of the different community presentations and was just a bit intimidating. We were one of the smallest delegations and may have had one of the simpler presentations, but our content, which highlighted our work, our commitment to children, and the culture of working together helped us stand out from the crowd. For any of you who have not seen our presentation, you can go to our website to watch it. And thankfully, we were the second city announced as an all-American city. I think I may have passed out if they had, had announced us last. Also, I'm very excited to announce that the coalition and school district have just won the prestigious New York Life Foundation Excellence in Summer Learning Award from the National Summer Learning Association. The Summer Enrichment Experience Program originated five years ago with the, New York, with the New Britain Youth Network and the generous support of the American Savings Foundation. We are so proud to be nationally recognized for the amazing results this community has had and achieve, has achieved in reducing summer learning loss. I now like to call up Tim Stewart. Thank you, Robin. I'll be brief. Good evening, and yeah, thank God, I know. Uh, good evening and welcome uh, to the Solid America City Celebration. Uh, I want to thank everyone who had a hand in this process, from Robin Sparks at the Coalition for New Britain's Youth, uh, to the mayor, uh, she happens to be a relative of mine, uh, and all the others who put this application and presentation together It allowed us to be successful in Denver this past June. Uh, the National Civic League's All-American City's purpose is to promote the outstanding work going on in communities across the USA. New Britain is one of only 500 cities and towns that have been given this prestigious award since 1949. 
Our diverse mix of people from many walks of life and their work, business, and community involvement it helped create a team that rose above the rest in Denver. Our theme of having the tools necessary to make our kids succeed was well received by the panel of judges. And a special thanks goes out to the folks at Stanley Works and Tim Para who provide us with the tool belts that everybody thought was my fanny pack. But no, <clears throat> it was a tool belt uh, for their contribution to this event. But for all the negative publicity our community receives because of the way that test scoring is done and, uh, and data is put together, this award gives us a pedestal, I think, to launch into a new wave of marketing and a vehicle to rebrand our community in a much more positive way. And much thanks go out to the folks at uh, the Coalition for Youth as well as the Board of Education, because without them, this would not be possible. So I think they deserve a huge round of applause. <clears throat> As you know, I spend many years representing this city of ours in conferences, organizations, and on committees both here in the USA and abroad. And I can say that without question, this experience for me was one of the most positive of all of my career. And I can't thank you all enough for being a part of it. Congratulations to all that were involved in this success, and let's keep this great collaboration going so that we can build a model for other communities across the country. God bless you. And I also will be brief <laughs> as well. Uh, so the Mayor Aaron Stewart, members of our City Council, State Delegation, New Britain Board of Education, Superintendent Nancy Sarah, and the rest of the Consolidated School District of New Britain, all the representatives of our nonprofit and faith-based organizations, and last but not least, the great citizens of the City of New Britain, it is with great humility and on behalf of the team who participated in the National Civic League's All-America competition in Denver, Colorado, we thank you for joining us for such a momentous occasion as we celebrate the National Civic League's recognition of the city of New Bern, Connecticut as an All-America city in 2016. Let me begin by expressing to you all on how this process began for many of us who eventually made the trip to Denver. Under the leadership of New Britain Youth Coalition President Robin Sparks and the Com Community Foundation of New Britain's own Kayla Smith, we embarked on a journey in what we all know would be pivotal in ensuring that the city of New Britain would be recognized for the many great programs, achievements, common sense solutions, and proactive approaches of our school system and nonprofit organizations. We started practicing at the YWCA over a month prior to us departing to Denver as we worked on our whole presentation, including our speaking parts, our movements, our props, courtesy of Stanley Works, and the setting up and breaking down of four banners highlighting all of the wonderful things that are currently happening in New Britain. It was a great process getting prepared, and it was apparent early that every member of our delegation care deeply about the city of New Britain, and I want to recognize them for that. As we all arrived in Denver, and after watching a few performances, it was apparent that we saw some other uh, cities, especially Charleston, as it was mentioned before, about singing and, and having a choir. We felt we needed to add a little spice to the uh, performance. And so we did have a strong, uh, as far as the uh, dialogue and all of the, uh, the stats and all those things that uh, we were going to bring out. But we wanted to add something to it. And so after watching some of the other cities as they were entering in uh, with some music, we decided, you know what, we got to think of something. And we thought of what you just heard us uh, perform when we walked, into, uh, walked in here. I will tell you that. It was apparent early on as we connected with other people um, from, from different cities that they wanted to hear the story of the city of New Britain. They wanted to know what we were doing. They wanted to know why the climate in our city was improving. I can remember when uh, I think it was Tim Stewart and myself and uh, Meryl Gay went to a room 
discussing the political issues and all these other things that were happening uh, across the country. When they heard what we had to say about the city of New Britain and how we are working in a bipartisan fashion to make sure that we improve the quality of life in the city of New Britain, and after letting them know what the school system and our nonprofits were achieving, everybody wanted to know how we were doing it. And to be around cities such as Las Vegas, Nevada, such as Charleston, South Carolina, and other great cities, for them to look at the city of New Britain as a model of what can possibly happen, happen in their own community is amazing and phenomenal. And I want to applaud everyone in our city that is responsible for their hard work in making that possible. After our performance and after uh, all the great things that the judges uh, said and, and of course the, the night in which we were awarded, it was just an amazing feeling to know that I was around such a great group of people who cared about the city of New Bern, who were intent in making sure that we could crush all of the negative perceptions that continue to exist in the city of New Britain. And so moving forward, we are intent from those that are involved in our city as a whole and in continuing and building upon all the successes that the city of New Britain has done. And I know many of us have gone through a lot of different things and a lot of challenges in our city when it comes to trying to achieve something. We've had our many ups and downs. But I'll leave you with this quote. Obstacles are necessary for success because in life and all other things of importance, victory only comes after many struggles and countless defeats. So I, again, I applaud everyone that's here. I applaud those that were part of the delegation. And let's remain humble and let's continue to push New Brand forward. Thank you and God bless you. So if we can have the delegation come on up here, please. So on behalf of the delegation who had went out to Denver, we would like to present this All-American City Award to Mayor Aaron Stewart. Well, I guess I have to say some words, right? <laughs> so the delegation is going to stay put while I say some things because um, this is an incredible, incredible celebration, an incredible time for the city of New Britain. Hold on, I have to find my speech because I did prepare this. So <laughs> I want to thank everybody. Thank everybody so much for coming out here tonight. Thank you to Robin and the Coalition for New Britain's Youth for spearheading this process. They were the ones that applied uh, for this, this massive honor that we have had onto us. They planned the entire thing. They put everything together. So the Coalition of New Britain's Youth, without them, really, would, we wouldn't be standing here today. So big, big round of applause for them. Thank you. couldn't think of a better group of people to go to Denver to represent the city of New Britain. Um, the, you guys are absolutely amazing. Every single one of you have such an incredible story to tell on behalf of the work that you've done for the city and the fact that my father and one of his groomsmen from his wedding got to go together is quite an incredible thing. Too. It's kind of a, yeah. Uh, but thank you guys so much for being a wonderful, wonderful representatives of us. And next year when we apply again, we're going to make sure that 
that there is no other organization in the city that plans an event or six events for the same weekend that they go, so then I can go and be a part of the team and not have to have my face on a banner like what you see behind them. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can't thank you all enough for truly showing the entire country that there is none better than New Britain, as it says on their t-shirts. New Britain, none better. <laughs> all right. We have to take a moment to thank the Community Foundation of Greater New Britain and Jim Williamson. Thank you so much, so much for helping to get our group there and helping supporting this and, and many other, not just the Coalition for New Britain's Youth, not just uh, helping support the trip uh, to send all of our delegates out to Colorado, but to thank the Community Foundation for all of the work that they do truly to make a difference in the, the city of New Britain. Thank you. And thank you, Jim. So, we're in All-America City, right? right. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> New Britain is now part of a very elite group, not only in Connecticut, but around the entire nation who are lucky enough to bear this title. And what we have been able to accomplish is a prime example of how a community can come together, can put aside all their differences, and work for the betterment of its residents. And I'm extremely, extremely proud of all of the partnerships that all of us have fostered to help reshape our city. Our city is undergoing a true transformation. Our story is being retold. No longer are we being defined defined by our past, but by our successes and our future aspirations, which through hard work and dedication will absolutely become real. Everywhere I go outside of this city, people always say to me, I'm surprised to see that in New Britain, or I didn't know what New Britain had to offer until I saw it on your Facebook page, or saw you on the news, or saw it on your Twitter, your Instagram. And that's an incredible feeling, because we do have a lot to offer here. And it's up to us to be able to take that message out to the public to get rid of those negative stereotypes that have plagued us for so long. For far too long, we've let others define who we are. But now it's our time to shine. It's our time to take control, our time to take ownership of what we want to be and what we want to be known for. We're a city that has long been hardworking, industrious, innovative, and determined to beat the odds to find a way. It's in the fabric of the city of New Britain's history. This can-do spirit still is with us today. It's with all of our residents, and especially with this delegation standing up here who's snickering at me. I see you, Mallory. <laughs> positive changes that we are seeing in the city of New Britain, both in our infrastructure and among the well-being of our residents, is evidence of this spirit, showing each of us to never settle for anything but the best. What we have in this community is very, very special, unlike many others throughout our state, throughout our nation. But let's remember that being an all-America city isn't just about that fancy banner that's behind us or the t-shirts that they're wearing. When we achieve our goals, they teach us to think big. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters to what lies within us. And I know that within each and every one of you lies the love that you have for the city of New Britain. So let's celebrate that pride, take ownership of it, and let's take this All-America City honor and display it extremely proudly, much more than just the banners that are hanging off of City Hall or behind us today. Let's continue to want more for a community that deserves absolutely nothing but the best. I'm so proud to be mayor of the city of New Britain. We have come so far in such a short, short period of time. But what we do with this recognition and where we go from here depends on all of us in this room tonight. We must continue to highlight our successes, to dig in deep, to find solutions to challenges that we face as a community, and never, ever stop striving to be better. I can't thank enough all of the local leaders that are here, not just from our nonprofit community, but also from our elected officials. How many times have you seen almost the entire city council here to support something. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. I mean, down the line, Alderman Pabone, Alderman Black, Alderman Collins, Smedley, Salerno, Polkowski, Naples, Sanders, <laughs> Chairwoman of the Board of Education, Sharon Beloin Saavedra, Nick Mercier from the Board of Education. We even get support from all over the state. Clay Cope, the first electman of Sherman, Connecticut, is here tonight. Thank you for being here, Clay. <laughs> This award stretches far beyond the city of New Britain. It stretches far beyond just us here in this room. It's something that the entire state of Connecticut could use as a model. So I want to thank all of you for every piece and every role that you played in all of this. Thank the delegation for doing an incredible job once again. Thank you to the National Civic League for this recognition. And I think we'll definitely be back next year. And I'm joining you guys with those shirts. So <laughs> thank you guys. Congratulations to all of us. <laughs> Yes.
to start right there. Winning this award is only the first step. We cannot live in our laurels. The coalition continues to expand our partnerships and develop strategies to tackle the issues that prevent some of our youth from achieving their full potential. We encourage all of you who have not joined this effort to consider doing so. We need to build strong partnerships across all the sectors. Together, businesses, community-based organizations, state and local government, parents, teachers, and neighbors, all working together, can improve the future for our children and make our community stronger. New Britain is gaining recognition for the work we are doing together, and now we need to capitalize on this moment to expand our network and our supporters. At the Coalition, we will continue to tackle the issues facing our children and families. Lack of early learning opportunities, stronger youth workforce development opportunities, teen pregnancy, graduation rates, summer learning loss, obesity and asthma, and school attendance, amongst others. We will, we will also be looking at best practices in other communities across the country to bring in strategies and programs that may help us improve the outcomes for our children. And we will be highlighting our work to attract more national funding. New Britain can be a model for other cities to show them what can be done when everyone drops their silos, aligns their resources, and uses data to drive their work. Lastly, I would like to thank all the members of the coalition who put in countless hours to work on these issues. I would also like to thank the funders of the coalition who make it possible to ensure we have the appropriate backbone structures in place to support an effort of this size. Special thanks to the Community Foundation of Greater New Britain, the American Savings Foundation, the United Way of Central and Northeastern Connecticut, the Graustein Memorial Fund, the Connecticut State Office of Early Childhood, the Fund for Greater Hartford, Farmington Bank Community Foundation, the Community Chest of New Britain in Berlin, and the Liberty Bank Foundation. Thank you to everyone in New Britain for your commitment to improving the lives of our children, and let's get ready to win this award again next year. Thank you. And a big thank you to Robin and to David Huck from my office for organizing tonight. Thank you, guys. <laughs>